Welcome back to another episode of the Cast Patrol podcast. Very, very, very special episode this week. We got the Melbourne Cup 2023 preview with myself, Mick, and Jimmy as always. Welcome, Jim. Mate, it's great to be here. Melbourne Cup, the race that stops the nation. I can't wait. You're obviously in the gold jacket because last year, yep. the gold jacket, you tipped gold trip. God Can bless. you back it up this year? God bless gold trip. Yeah, I mean, as you know, it's hard enough picking the Melbourne Cup winner, but to yeah, to pick one at a, a decent price always helps. So, yeah, can't wait to get stuck into the form. Hopefully we can go back to back for the punters out there. Um, but, yeah, God bless Gold Troop. Perfect. So today's episode, we're going to go through a runner-by-runner runner preview and we're obviously going to cap it at a certain amount because 24 horses is just too many. How far are we going to go down? Maybe the top 10, top 12s around yeah, that? Yeah, I think we'll go through the, the horses that we think are going to win. There's obviously the race, you know, obviously doesn't stop there. There's plenty of um, horses in the race. But, yeah, we'll go through the, the main chances that we think. And then towards the episode end of the episode, we'll go through our winning tips and our Ruffy selections. That's when those uh, higher odds horses will come into play. So before we kick things off with the runner-by-runner runner analysis, just remember, use the link in the description to sign up to Dabble. Uh, use the code Cast Patrol to sign up. Once you're on the app, you can copy all of our Melbourne Cup tips and all the racing for Tuesday's massive day. So, Jim, we kick things off yep. with the race favourite, Vauban, 55 kilos, barrier three, $4.20 and $1.80 to place. Five-year-old gelding ridden by Ryan Morton, trained by Willie Mullins. Yeah, well, Vauban, everyone, that's the talk of the town, I think, at the moment. Uh, he's obviously come from the UK, group one winning hurdler. Um, his last two wins have been, you know, pretty dominant uh, on the flat. Um, I think they've, you know, set up, set himself for this race. Um, I think the plan has gone perfectly so far. Gets a good draw. He's going to roll forward. Um, and yeah, I think he looks the one to beat. So 162 Melbourne Cups. The race favourite has only won 34 times. Does this – is there a curse or is it just Melbourne Cups so unpredictable at times? Yeah, I think there's a bit of a hoodoo out there. But look, like I said, he – the way he's been winning, he just maps – you know, he, he maps perfectly for, for a race like the Melbourne Cup. I'm sure, you know, Ryan Moore's got, got a plan already, a plan of attack. He's going to go forward – Probably get him going at around the 600 meter mark and yeah, give him something to catch it at, at the straight. Okay, that's the, that's the barn. Gold Troop, 58 and a half kilos, barrier two, six dollars to win, two dollars 25 to place. Six year old, ridden by James McDonald and trained by Kieran Ma and Dave Eusis. And obviously, as we touched on, last year's Melbourne Cup winner. Yeah, God bless Gold Troop. Like I said, love this horse. He obviously won the race last year, he's the top weight this year. But he only carries a kilo more. He carried 57 and a half last year with Mark Zara in the saddle. Only goes up a kilo, gets J-Mac. All his runs this prep have been good. Um, so, yeah, I think he's a, he's a great chance. Uh, is it going better last year or this year in terms of its prep? I would say he's going better, but I think the risk with Gold Trip is last prep, a lot of the lead-up runs that he was in were very slowly run. This year, you know, they were genuinely fast run Caulfield Cups and Cox Plates. So whether or not that's taken – out, taking it out of him and, you know, if he can go and, and go again, try and go back to back, we'll see. But, yeah, look, he, he's going super this prep. So, yeah, no, he's, he's, he'll be in the race. And last horse to obviously go back to back was Maccabi Diva all those years ago. Won yeah. What a champion. What a man. Exactly. So the next horse is without a fight, 56 and a half kilos, barrier 16, $6 to win, $2.25 to place, six-year-old gelding ridden by Mark Zara and trained by Anthony and Sam Friedman. Yeah, your tip in the race last he year? He was my tip last year, so if it comes back to bite me for not tipping it this year, oh, look, yeah. there'll, be, uh, there'll be some battle scars. Yeah, he might. But um, look, without a fight, he's going well this prep. He obviously won. He's come through the Caulfield Cup, strong winner in the Caulfield Cup. He's come back a different horse. Um, ran in the race last year, like, like we mentioned, but, you know, he did fail. So I think that's the risk with him, you know, going to the race this year. Like I've got, you know, reservations of whether or not he can run the trip. But, you know, if he does, he's he's going to be very, very hard to beat. He's he's going very well. And, of course, Mark Zara knows Fine. how to win the cup. He does know how to win the cup. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, next runner, Sulkham, 53 and a half kilos, barrier four, $10 to win, $3.30 to place, four-year-old gelding ridden by Jal Moreira and trained by none other than Chris Waller. Yep, Chris Waller, good training and jockey combination. 
He's just got a bad habit of missing the start. Terrible. Sulkham. Um, Always a few lengths off him, straight off the jump. Straight off the jump. So it's going to be hard in your mouth stuff if you do back him. Especially Bar- from barrier four. Barrier four, you know, if he misses a start, he's going to be in, in a world of trouble. But look, Sulkham, he's absolutely flying this prep. He's going to be better suited back to Flemington. Blinkers come off to help him jump better. So, you know, if, if there's anyone that can get him out of the gates, the magic man, Joe Marrero. So... If he jumps with him, he'll go close, but yeah, it'll be um, it's it's a big risk. I if Sulkham does jump well, where do you see it sitting in terms of the race field? Well, I think if he jumps well, we'll probably see him midfield, um, and then he'll he'll Giamaro will cuddle him up for as long as he can because he's got an electric turn of foot as we as we've seen in the past from him. So yeah, hopefully he jumps, but yeah, if you if you are interested in Sulkham, good luck, and um, yeah, hopefully he jumps for you guys. Just pray off the jump. <laughs> Yeah. Absurd. 53 kilos, barrier eight, $13 to win, $4 to place, five-year-old gelding ridden by our mate Zach Purden yep. and trained by Willie Mullins. Yeah. Well, he comes with the right race, won the e-ball handicap from a wide gate last start, which is usually a good form race for, for a race like the Melbourne Cup. Only concern is he's got beaten up comfortably by Vaban, which is his stable mate when they met. But look, he's got no dramas in, in running the trip. He's going to run the trip. He's got the world-class jockey on. He's got a good gait. So, look, it wouldn't be a surprise to see him um, figure in, you know, the top six, I think. Perfect. I like it. Break up, 55 kilos, barrier 18, $19 to win, $5.50 to place. Apologies if I butcher these names. <laughs> Five-year-old ridden by Matsuyama and trained by Tatsuya Yokia. Yeah. I hope that's close. <laughs> yeah, well, look – We've seen, we've obviously seen break up in Australia uh, before we, he ran in the Caulfield Cup where he was okay without being great, got in a bit of trouble at the home turn. But, you know, the stable have said that he's going to be better suited over this trip and going to be better suited at Flemington. So the rising trip helps and look, you can never, um, you know, discount the Japanese when they bring one over. You always got to respect the Japanese. So I'm sure, you know, they'll, they'll have him right for, for Tuesday and he, he, he'll run well, I'm sure. The only thing that concerns me with break up, apart from what you've just mentioned, barrier 18, yeah. obviously it's not one of the more favourable numbers to be jumping from. Yeah. Only one winner, and that's very elegant. Yeah. So, so barrier 18 is a bit of a hoodoo. Yeah, it is a bit of a hoodoo, and yeah, very elegant was an absolute beast, as we know. But yeah, I don't know if uh, break up is as good as very elegant, but um, yeah, look, they, 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 they like the gate. They, they, they're pretty confident in, in his chances. So yeah, if you like him, I, I, I couldn't um, you know, steer you away from him. Okay, Latoshka, 51 kilos, barrier number 21, $20 to win, $6 to place, four-year-old filly ridden by Craig Williams and trained by Mick Price and Mick Kent Jr. Yeah, a lot of unknowns with this filly. Obviously, you know, French mare is going to have a first start in Australia in a race like the Melbourne Cup. But from all reports, she's, you know, working really well at home um, at Werribee. The trip's not going to be a problem. She's, you know, she's been running at the trip and running really well. 3,100, 2,500, 2,400, 2,800. Yeah, so the trip won't be an issue for her. Um, yeah, look, she's an interesting runner and, yeah, look, she can she can run a, a cheeky race at, at big odds, I think. Mm, and it, there's uh, mentioned uh, one last start in the group three at Longchamp over 3,100 and yep. it carried 56 kilos. So obviously going back now substantially, five kilos less. Yeah. So future history, 50 kilos, a light runner, barrier 13, $21 to win, $6 to play, six-year-old gelding ridden by Holly Doyle and trained by Kira Ma and Dave Uses. Yeah, look, future history, he just continues to get better this prep. He continues to go to another level one one well at Flemington you know two starts back um you know when he led controlled and um kicked at the turn and led all the way to win went back last start and you know found the line really well he's got no weight he's going to roll forward um Holly Doyle is a, a very astute rider um he's going to give some cheek at some uh, at big odds stable knows how to win the cup obviously they won the race last year with gold trip so no i think future history is a is a great uh, lightweight chance in 21 dollars too great odds there yeah vow and declare 53 kilos barrier 19 26 dollars to win seven dollars to place eight-year-old gelding ridden by billy egan and trained by danny o'brien obviously previous winner of the melbourne cup yeah won the race in 2019 i believe um it's going to be his fourth melbourne cup so but look, he just continues to show up. Vian declare mm. when you think you know he, he's out of form, he, he continues to run well. He's going very well this prep, and um, yeah, look he, again, he's one of those horses where if he was to figure in the top six, or even if he was to you know run top four, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, he's obviously, like you said, he's won the the race before. 
We'll run the trip, no issues. Billy Egan's a, a very good rider and, um, yeah, gets, gets a great chance to, to win his first Melbourne Cup. Imagine two Melbourne Cups to its name. So they're the runners that we think will go very close in the Melbourne Cup, if yep. not win. Obviously, touching on the other runners, we've got more felons, military mission, Ash Run, Cleveland, Serpentine, Calipore, Right You Are, Alenqua, Okita, Sushi, Dan Quinn, Sweet Jr., Interpretation, Shazaz, True Marvel, Magic Lagoon, and Virtuous circle yeah so like i said i mean obviously the race doesn't stop there yep. um there's plenty of you know field of 24 every horse you know is gonna have is gonna get their chance to win um but yeah they're probably the, the ones that we think are probably the best chances for in this year's melbourne cup and so. going off recent oh sorry history as well um horses under uh, under 30 dollars seem to be always in the finish yeah anything over 30 dollars obviously the market's probably getting around Around the right money. Yeah, exactly right. And like I said, it is the Melbourne Cup. Um, you know, we've seen, you know, Prince of Penzance comes to comes to mind at 100 to 1 winning the Cup. No one probably gave him a chance. So, you know, like I said, if, if you like any of those roughies um, down the page, yeah, I couldn't um, steer you away from any of them, I don't think. For sure. All right, Jim. It's the moment of truth. Yeah, moment so of truth. So last year we touched on it. You tipped Gold Trip, the winner. Yeah. In our debut season podcasting, mm -hmm. second season now, you've got the gold jacket on. Who is your cup winner? I'm going to go against the the, the hoodoo. Obviously, we, we mentioned it early. I'm going to go for Barn. I'm going to go the favourite. Willie Mullins, uh, trained obviously by Willie Mullins, jockey Ryan Moore. Like I said, he's he's just been set up for this race. You know, they've the 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 train the the train the trainer the owners. You know, they've they've set him up. Um, you know. His plan, obviously, to get him over the hurdles, get him fit, and then back over the flats in recent starts. And, yeah, look, he just gets all favours. Barrier three, he's going to roll forward. Ryan Moore's probably going to push the button at around the 600, get him going because he he's obviously needs a lot of room. Um, he's a horse that, you know, you need to build his revs up. So he'll get going and, um, yeah, he's going to give him something to catch, I think, this year. So Vauban for me to win this year's Melbourne Cup. And Ruffy, who are you going well, we touched on him. Future history for me. Lightweight, 50 kilos, Holly Doyle and Kieran Maher, Dave Eustace. Another one that's going to roll forward. Um, he just keeps getting better a, a, with each run this prep. Um, Kieran Maher's bullish about his chances this year in the Cup. So, yeah, future history for me as my roughie for this year's Cup. Okay, I like it. And for myself, obviously, I'm not an expert at horse racing. Mate, never well, know. Neither of us are, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, exactly. But with mine, I'm going the Toshka, $20 to win, $6 to place. I'm looking at the form. I think we touched on it. It knows yep. how to run the distance. It won last start, 3,100 at Longchamp, at group three. Carries 50, carried 56 kilos then. Now drops to 51 kilos in the yep. cup. Now, she'll appreciate it big time because she's never carried less than 55 and a half kilos well, there you in go. its entire career. So that's good. A good rider on board. Willow is on fire. Willow is on fire. Distance shouldn't be a burden. And if it runs at a very best, she'll be competitive. My only query is the good track because it's used to running in France yeah. uh, over the soft, soft, soft yep. and heavy. And barrier 21, drawn the car park. But hey, you never know. It's the cup. You never know. And in terms of my roughy, one that we didn't touch on was military mission. So yep. $31 to win, $8 to place. Look, in terms of roughies, the cup's very magical. And it's it's always got a magic feeling around this time of the year. Yep. So what better way to put the two magic worlds together, Cast Patrol and Melbourne Cup? Yep. I'm going the Cast Patrol effect. So obviously at the start of the year, we interviewed Gay Waterhouse. Yep. And Gay Waterhouse was very, very much uh, passionate about talking about her Melbourne Cup win with Fiorente. Mm -hmm. And it just stuck with me. So... I'm going to go Gay Waterhouse has run a military mission um, and as well, number five, the barrier it's jumping from, most successful barrier in Melbourne Cup history. Well, there you go. Eight wins. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the most successful. So Gay Waterhouse to well, reignite she, the Cast Patrol podcast. She knows effect. how to win the Melbourne Cup. Like you said, she, she's won it on Fiorente. And yeah, military missions is, is going great. Guns is prep, comes through the Herbert Power. Um, trip shouldn't be an issue for her. Uh, for him and you know Rachel Kings is riding uh, really well so yeah I think military mission is not without obviously a rough won hope. the big race on Saturday over the, the cool weekend. more yeah so yeah that's uh, I'm going with form and I'm going with the cast patrol podcast effect I like it so all our tips will be on double as we touch on use the link in our description even in our bio sign up using the code cast patrol c a s t p a t r o l and Jim 
Always remember. Well, just a reminder, what are you really gaming with? For free and confidential support, call 1-800-858-858 or visit the website gamblinghelponline.org.au. And remember, the best bet for Melbourne Cup Day, no matter if you've got a Rafi, sure thing, trifecta, is to set a deposit limit because you know you need to know when to call it a day and bet within your means. 100%. All right, Jim, I think that'll do us. We'll Can't see. Wait. We'll see Tuesday who Tuesday, comes out the winner. 3 p.m., Melbourne Cup. Can't wait. I can't wait. See you, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy. See you guys. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call 1 800 858 858 or visit gamblinghelponline.org.au.